Today in our 2003 Ford F-250 Super Duty, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Curt Custom Fit Class 4 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the 2 inch opening, its part number is C14355. Now here you can see our hitch installed in the vehicle, really clean look, just a little bit of a step down, beefs up the rear end of the truck a little bit, and you know at least in the looks of it. It's a really nice heavy duty hitch, this being a Class 4. It's going to give you a thousand pound tongue weight capacity, 10,000 pound gross trailer weight capacity. You can also step up with weight distribution up to a 1,200 pound tongue weight rating, 12,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Um, of course, refer to this, the Ford's owner's manual, make sure that's allowed. If not, go off of whatever of those numbers are the lowest. Two inch by two inch opening, extra reinforcement around the end here. Going to have the 5 8 inch pinhole diameter and safety chain connections down here, which will work out fine. Really easy installation. You've got existing holes in the frame rail of the truck. It's a matter of dropping through a few uh, carriage bolts with spacers on them and then putting flange nuts on the bottom. It'll take you probably 20 minutes if you have to lower the spare tire, 15 if you don't. Really nice, easy thing to do. Now a few measurements that will be helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or maybe hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening. We have about 19 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four. Now typically the first step would be to remove our spare tire. This one uh, has already been removed, so we don't really have to deal with that. What we'll do now is move right over here to our driver's side frame rail, take a look at our access points, or our, uh, our hole locations. Now whether you're doing a standard duty like an F-150 or if you're doing a super duty like this, you're going to use the two rearmost holes on the driver's side and the passenger side. Just like that, one of the plates, or the spacer plates, one of the half inch carriage bolts, and we're just going to bring them down through. Both rear hole locations here. Just like that. Now as far as the front holes are considered, we're only going to be using one of them. On the Super Duty models, we'll use the one closest to the front of the truck. If we were doing this on, let's say, like an F-150 model or a light duty model, we'll use the one in the rear there. But now that we've got the driver's side done, let's do the exact same thing on the passenger side. All right, now we can raise our hitch up into position. Now, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands. This being a Class 4 hitch, it's got a little weight to it. Before we get it in place, you'll notice it's got the extra gussets here on each side. Really helps to strengthen that and give us that superior towing capacity. Now we just want to guide this up. Kind of watch your carriage bolts. You don't want to push them all the way back up and through. And then whenever we get one to come through, we'll just have that half inch flange nut. Thread it right up on there to hold it in place. We can go over to our other side here and do the same thing. Perfect. Thank you, Hayden. Now we'll allow it to rest there while we get our other nuts started. All right, now we can take just a quick look to be sure we have our hitch centered. Looks good. Now we'll start tightening down our fasteners. All right, now let's check our instructions, find out what our torque specs are, and we'll get them all torqued down. With everything tightened down to specification, that's going to complete today's installation of the Curt Custom Fit Class 4 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C14355, on our 2003 Ford F-250 Super Duty.